secret from last time in here we have this root dg now for that we have a tool called gpg in here we have list keys okay we can list keys and we can decrypt keys and here it says it's encrypted with this key so this is the id we're looking for so in here we just write down this id so we know that's uh, this is our key id okay we don't want to save it but we want to make it big so everybody on their mobile phones can watch this and um, by the way, quick PSA, uh, this content is best consumed on a bigger screen because we are going to do a lot of coding. And if you're doing it on a bigger screen, you can follow along. So we have this key, this ID. So we are trying to find out where is this key located? So the first thing we do is GPG list keys. So last time I tried to attack the GPG itself, finding some kind of exploits. Not sure if that's the way to go, but we're gonna try a different approach today just to see if it works in the first place. And if that doesn't work, we can always go back to silly exploit hacking. Okay, GPG list keys, boom. Uh, okay, that's not what I wanted, but let's look. Okay, it doesn't look like there are some keys on Vault. Now we have uh, Ubuntu as well. So let's uh, see if GPG is here. Perfect, GPG list keys oh come on keys and it it looks like we have the id here fantastic now i'm here this is me this is the big bad guy with the laptop that they're using can i uh, hack uh, slash send it so that's me we have a web server right vault htb or as we like to call it this is the ubuntu server so this is the one with the keys right okay now we need, uh, I, I have to f design this a little bit better. The colors make me almost puke, but maybe we can like pick another color here. Oh, 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 beautiful. So we are connected to this one directly via SSH. There is no issue there, but we use this one as a proxy to bypass this firewall entirely because there is a firewall as we know. And then we have a DNS server. Let's go with this one. That This is our DNS server, DNS. Now we, uh, contrary to popular belief, are not connecting this way. Let's go with this one. We are not using this connection that's a big no no tag forbidden we are not using this one that's not possible because this machine is behind the firewall like so so we can't connect it what we're doing is we're using this server here as a pivoting point as a proxy to connect to this one and we can't also connect i think so far so we have our mainframe this one is the vault machine with the name vault walter white as i like to call it. here we have the same problem we can't connect to walter white via the firewall we are blocked out from this one so this one is kind of in a dm seat so that's a dm set structure and uh, it's used to prevent people like me to get into the mainframe or the vault that we can see over here now what we do because we are so incredibly smart we exploit the following thing that this one has port 53 open and we then can connect from this machine to this machine via this port over ssh complicated magic but we have a big issue right now what is the big issue i'm feeling like dora the explorer today can you spot the issue Dear chat, what is the issue? In here, our file is over here. And our key, uh, what do I need? Uh, why isn't there a symbol for a key? I'm just gonna use this little guy as the key. And to make it more obvious that this is a key, we're just gonna turn this 90 degree. And now it kind of looks like a key. Maybe not. But we're gonna make it blue so we know it's the key. So our key is over here. And our file or our flag. Flag. Aren't there any like things for, oh, let's just take this note symbol and call it flag. So our flag over here, the red one is on this server, which is like two or three layers of firewalls between us. So what we need to do is first of all, we have to move this flag past this firewall to this DNS server. All right, could you, did you follow? Now the question is twofold. What is easier to move the key from here to here to here or 
Maybe we can meet up in the middle. I mean, you know what? Moving this file to this server shouldn't be that hard. That's what she said. We can just use STP 444 Dave at localhost. And then we have phone Dave root ext dot gpg to here. I mean, we are using SSH, so. Okay, then how the hell are we connected to this one? Okay, we, we're gonna set up a, a second listener then. Mm. I need the password, check, Ooh, and I'm in. And now, uh, do we have the history or do I have to know the command by head by now? Oh, come on. We have this one, but uh, this one is in use, so we're just going to use another port, right? That's how it works. So in here, we just use for 20, 0, and hope that no Angular uh, thing is running. And then we have Dave at localhost, home, Dave. Root.txt, I can't, xd.gpg here. Boom, it didn't work. Okay, why didn't it work? I mean, that's the first way we can try it. I mean, we can do it the other way around. Uh, this should be much simpler. Simple and clean is the way that I'm letting this go tonight. So can I just scp as Dave? And then we send this as Dave at this server. Boom, bah. Bada bing, bada bang. Or not. Maybe not. The only time will tell. Maybe our connection now will be broke. Uh, it's taking its sweet time. What's happening? I mean, you know what's even simpler than moving the file around? We have it here. Let's just get it. What's the worst that could happen? Ha ha ha. This is the worst that could happen. But this doesn't stop us. We have the power of base 60. Base 64, fuck, we have the power of XXD. We don't have it, okay, no, this makes matters a bit worse. Um, I had like the super mastermind plan of, hey, let's just base 64, copy paste it. But apparently that's not the way this wants to go, right? I mean, what is simpler, finding out what the network issue is with my previous command or finding out how to build our own base 64 binary? We're just not gonna try it again. Maybe I, maybe this time, instead of like writing nothing, I just write the home directory, but it doesn't seem like being able to connect. So we are encountering issues on this front over here, which means we have to be creative. And so we are gonna do what I call a pro gamer move, which is we are just gonna use uh, Google and ask it base 64 bash script without base 64 tool. Okay, and uh, this doesn't seem to be doing anything as well. But can we like curl l google.com? Why doesn't it know? Okay, okay, so it cannot resolve the host. Okay, how can we get this thing out of here? Let's go very, uh, maybe we have a script on GitHub. Fallback implementation. Yes, that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna get this. We're gonna go on this server. We're gonna vim base 64 in here. Okay, we had don't have vim. We're gonna nano base 64 in here. I'm gonna paste the script and exit out of here and saving it base, uh, we're gonna call it base 64. Yes, yes, it's okay. We, we're just gonna call it base 64. Now, oh, we have to make it an executable. So chmod plus x base 64, right? Uh, let's take a look. Base 64 executable. What does it do? Cannot specify commons name. All right, then we're gonna go with the classic bash approach, which now does something and we're gonna just has it the root? Oh, come on. This is the, the ugliest shell I've ever touched. Come on. Okay, so apparently ChatGPT is telling me to run it like this. Right. Base64, we input this one and we output uh, and code. I cannot redirect output. Okay, maybe. Ah, uh, come on. E not found. Oh, Python. Do we have Python in here? Uh, we don't have Python. What the heck? What the hell kind of a shell do we have here anyways? Hmm? That's maybe the first question we should have asked. I mean, this shell sucks as R bash. Is this like the restricted bash? All right. Okay. So I don't think we are going to have any success this way. We may need to infect the over here and run like one of the NCODs command from before, which I have to copy paste now again, which as well, we tried to listen on a different port because 444 is already given. Can I reuse like, I'm just copy pasting this from my notes. 
We have uh, seven. Do we have to go with like the port 53 here again? Or can we try to use the port 444 here? We'll find the answer right now. Get something. And now we SCP with the port 777. Maybe that's the, maybe we have to like double up again. Uh, this seems to be the, how do you call it? The team of this challenge. Did I use it wrong? SCP, P, Dave, at localhost okay it seems to go somewhere i'm not sure we're going in the right direction but we're going in some direction we have it here perfect now so to go back to our master plan that i designed in here what we've done is we've smuggled this over here okay this makes it much simpler because we have direct access from ubuntu to this server so we can just like shoot it over here and then use the key to open it let's do that real quick and then we'll see if that's uh worked out uh, uh, why i had to do it via this port i'm not too sure i'm not even sure i had to do it via this port um, but this sh now should be the simplest step that we have which is we are dave at what the hell is the ip for ubuntu is this the ip for ubuntu or is this we're gonna go with this one because it's in the same subnet so we're gonna go here and then we are gonna do this like boom check okay this didn't work out this worked out and here we say root.txt boom now we need dave's password which we conveniently have opened up right here so now i just have to find out <laughs> where the hell am i in here we copy it over to ubuntu let's check out if we have it in here okay it's here perfect now, now is the moment of truth if all our plans worked out. So if we go back to our mastermind of a plan, this flag and the key are now on the same server. So we can now use the key to open it up. But the question is now, does it work as we intend it to work? Let's try it out. GPG and then we go with root. Boom. Maybe it's this one. Doesn't seem to be that one either. We had, to, I think we had the file on desktop key. Yeah, it's coming home. I mean, let's try that. Ooh, encrypted. Okay. I mean, that's fantastic. Where is the, oh, here it is. And we have the root flag. The root, the root flag is on fire. Okay, let's uh, verify if it's the correct one. Maybe, as is the team with this challenge, maybe it's like, a, haha, it's not the correct uh, flag. You actually have to find a second flag hidden in this one by rotating every character by 420 steps. No, it looks like it's done. Fantastic. With that, our big celebration of the Vault HTB challenge. I'm so glad it's done. We should go on to the next one.